Okay, hi guys, we're going to be doing, I'm just going to do a review, I'm just going to keep it facing like that, <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to, just going to um, review a game, probably, yeah, that's what I'll do today, okay, today, um, I'm, um, I'm going to review, sure, why not, I'm going to review Ratchet and Clank Alpha 1, and at the end of this video, if you watch it, would you please, please, just write in the comments, out of five stars, what would you give that game? Okay, so, from the start, I'm going to go right out, I think there should be an easy mode, even though in the first level it does tell you instructions upon the instructions which are helpful <laughs> especially if you just went on the game but really there's only a normal and hard mode like and you get a boss on the first level what game does that oh let me think rock and clank all for one oh moving on the slurgs in one of the level why <laughs> just why because why can't you defeat them it's so annoying you just have to hit them off and you'll get electrocuted i'm just so annoyed with them slurgs they're so annoying and as well in one of the levels i think it's the middle of nowhere the level after that it's Enemy upon enemy upon enemy upon enemy. Where did the enemies come from? Come on. I'm like, there's so many enemies. It's like, what should we do with the game? I don't know what we should do next. Just get more enemies. Why? Why? Okay. And um, another part. And um, well. I don't think it's fair though. You have to complete the whole game to get cheats. You should just get a level and get cheats on that level then. Because you're hardly going to complete the game and then do all again. Unless it's a fantastic, fantastic, amazing game. Which it slightly is. You know. So I just find that kind of annoying. Like. Like, because I don't think you should do the whole game and then get cheats. Like, and I do think the game is really good, all in all, though. But I have to be nice to them, and I'm going to say it's a four star game. I would have given it three, but I do like the graphics and the controls are good and everything is not too hard so that's what i do like about it so that's why i marked it up and gave it four okay so i'm not sure if there's much really left to say about the game and um, well i suppose it is like a, a really good game all in fairness and um, there is a heap of levels. There's over like 28 levels. I think there's over 30 as well. I think I'm on the 32nd or something like that. But like seriously. So much levels. At least Wind Waker is just one target for the whole game. It's not like do this level. And as well, there is also another bad thing about... Because if you... Let's say you did two levels and you wanted to do another level. And then you were halfway through the third level. And then your mom called you to do a heap of washing, which probably took half an hour. And then you didn't want to waste electricity, so you turned it off. So then you came back and you had to do the whole thing again. As in, not the two levels that complete, but from the start on the third level that you did. I really think that is annoying. That happened to me once total annoying because I just went I was going, what the hell like why can't this you know 
like I just don't get but it is good all in all so I really enjoyed sharing my thoughts about this game so if you want more about my reviews on games please come to my channel and watch more videos thank you bye